Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Banished. It's your boy, John. We're back in Amesbury Port. Last episode, we built this beautiful little pasture in the northern portion of Amesbury Port, right next to our field, right next to our squash field. We built a couple of houses. Actually, we're, we're finishing up the second house right now. Got a good, healthy labor population. And uh, we've, we've got this chicken coop that can hold up to 30 chickens, which is going to be great. Uh, it seems like we've stabilized our food source and our firewood, which is wonderful. So we're, uh, we're just going to start to expand a little bit since we have so many people to work with. As always, if, uh, if you like this kind of content, remember to leave a, uh, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, leave some comments. Tell me, uh, tell me the kind of stuff that you want to see on here. That helps the YouTube algorithm get my name out there, get my channel out there so that I can continue to make this kind of content. All right, so this is going well so far. Uh, I've got another house. That's great. Let's return these folks back to the labor pool. And uh, let's just, uh, let's take a look around. What do we got going on here? We've got, you know, we've got a healthy forester lodge and tree population here. We've got another one down here. We've hit our log limit, so we're good on logs. We're pretty good on firewood. In fact, we've just maxed our firewood out, so that's great. Got a nice market population. We've got a lot of stone, so I think what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to reallocate these folks. I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish up these houses down here. Only because that will leave room for uh, upgrading some of these houses up here. In fact, I am going to kick these people out, which is a terrible idea, I know. But uh, fortunately, we have... Uh, we've got this boarding house as kind of a temporary place for these people to live while we're doing these upgrades. We initially built the boarding house as a place for nomads to go when they arrive in town. It's kind of a just a it's a temporary housing situation, so they're not left out in the cold. The great thing about the boarding house too is if you keep it long term, you can use it as kind of this this flex space. That'll allow us to go and, and do some upgrades up here. So that's going to be great. We reclaimed some materials from there. Six stone. We had some stone there. Got plenty of iron. I think they carry stone in here. Maybe not. Well, they got to move the stone around. Anyway, so we'll upgrade this house. That's going to be great. And then we're going to build these other three houses. We had 160 stone when we started, so that should have been enough. It's 40 stone, right? 40 stone each. So that's enough for four houses. So we got these three and then we upgraded the other one. So that's enough for four houses. So we'll finish these up. That's going to be great. What is this little thing? Is that iron? Yeah, it's iron. So we'll have a huge, uh, huge amount of houses for extra population extra growth so that's great see lots of people born lots of people in the labor pool that's great though We're, we need to keep those numbers up because as you saw earlier on we had a bunch of people die of old age and that's just going to continue to happen so we have to have young recruits ready to uh to fill their parents shoes going well so far that's our hunting cabin. Just finished that one up. It's going well so far. Actually, let's keep those. So we got 40 stone. So they got all the stone there. Let's see if they have all the stone up here. They finished this one up, so... Yeah, all right, let's do another one. Another one. There we go. Okay. And 80. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. So let's actually let's get as many of these done as we can. It's early autumn. So the hope is... Let's actually do one extra. The hope is we can get all of this done 
you know, before winter hits, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but having these is going to mean, wow, holy crap. 64. Jeez. Uh, having these as stone houses is going to be a little bit more efficient. So if we go over here and look at some of the stats, provides a place for citizens to live, eat, store food, and stay warm. And then this one is the same. Provides more warmth than wooden houses. So a little bit more efficient when it comes to heating, which is a good thing to have. All right, they got this one torn down. They're taking the stone over here. So they reclaim four stone. It's not a lot, but it's, you know, it's something. And they can turn around and stick it back on there. So that's, you know, that's something. All right, it's going well. These folks are going uh, going to chapel now. They have their own chapel. They have their own little graveyard too. I wonder if that's what happened. When I opened this one up, maybe it redistributed the graves. I don't know if that's actually a thing that happens, but whatever. All right, we've got eight cows, which means that any cow born beyond the eight is going to get slaughtered and turned into, uh, turned into meat. So we have some venison. The venison is from deer. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any... We don't have any beef yet. We will soon. We have a lot of hide coats, which is great. We have a we have a decent amount of leather, which is great. It's going well so far. Let's pop back up here. It's still snowing. How many folks are in our boarding house right now? A lot. There are a lot of people in our boarding house. A lot of old people. Jeez Louise, look at these folks. 65, 52. I mean, you know, in the universe of banished. They're old. <laughs> I think, too, I think once we're done upgrading these, I think it's about time. Oh, we got a trader coming. I think it's about time to get a mine. So I'm thinking we build a mine. Good way to get resources. All right, let's see what the trader has. Iron tools and coal. Yeah, wow. Coal's worth six. That's great. All right, well, we don't need that. Don't need it right now. They're working on those. Let's take a look and see. I think that's in here. What does a mine, what does the footprint of a mine look like? So you build that in a mountain, right? Can you, hmm, interesting, okay. Can we do it here? Uh, it's a permanent fixture, so I don't want it to, you know, ooh, maybe, oh, we can do it there. I think that's where we're gonna put it, folks. It doesn't take up too much forest either. Actually, we could even move it. We can move it over. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Can we get it far back as possible? All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that, we're gonna build a mine. Excellent, excellent. So that's gonna provide us with coal. Let's build this. Eh, eh, there we go. Build that all the way over. Look at that, they're going at it. They're so excited to do something. We just, we have so many laborers. You know, we've got, we've got nine laborers and seven of them currently are uh, flexing as a builder. So, you know, we just, we have a, we have a pretty decent population. Oh good, that's like right outside. Didn't even plan that. Sort of visually uh, stuck it outside, but didn't plan it out at all. I mean, of course I did that on purpose. We got four folks who are cold. Where are those guys coming from? Yeah, they're all like off in the wilderness. Oof. Well, hopefully. Yeah, wow, what are you guys doing all the way up there? Jeez. We should build, hmm, we should build a bridge. We really should build a bridge. Yeah, you guys are coming all the way up here. Wow. Hmm. 
We're building a little more in this episode than I originally planned, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Can't do that. Maybe... Yeah, let's do that. All right, we'll build a bridge across. You know, it's not, I mean, it's not the best place, but you know, whatever, it's fine. We have the resources, good, they warmed up. Nobody dying on my watch. Look at this, man, this is going up quickly. This is great. We could start doing stone roads, but I don't really wanna waste the stone. Stone roads are a little faster and they look a little better. And we, so we might do stone roads. Uh, we might do stone roads like in town, you know, or maybe like these really long bits, these major roads. We might do stone roads. Um, we'll see. This is going well. This is almost done. Really, really quick work. They did a great job. I think, where am I going to put this? I'm going to put this path, like, right here, I think. Does it matter? Do it. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, I got an award. Let's build one here. Let's build. Let's just build two. Okay, so we need some folks. And iron? No. Let's get coal. Let's do 400 coal. Let's see, it was six. It was worth six. So if we do six times six, that's 36. Yeah, let's do 400. Let's allocate 10 people. It's a good amount. It's a good amount. There we go. Look at that. Got some coal. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So we were able to upgrade some of these places. I think it's a good idea to upgrade these. This folks not going to be super happy. Oh, are those nomads? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if we can take uh, I don't know if we could take the hit. Oh, are they? Maybe they're just Oh, they are. Let's see. How many do we have? Wow. 19. Wow, 19 people. Oh, man. Yeah, see, here's the thing. This is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about food. Like, a lot. I'm worried that I don't have enough food, and I really need to expand out my food operation. So I'm not sure if I could take the hit right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass this time. I'm going to pass. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, folks. It's a lot of people. Oh, they got this bridge done. That's nice. Um, it's a lot of people. And I just, I don't think I have enough food. I am tearing down these houses. I've got a lot of things in flux. Uh, I just don't think I have enough food. You know, we're still building up the chickens. We're still building up a lot of things. So, I don't know. I don't know if we're quite there yet. I think what we're going to do, though, the coal, the coal is an interesting prospect. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is lay down a stockpile, right? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Right there. Like that. Yeah, yeah. And then we can build some houses. It's like I planned it. All right, let's pause these for a sec. All right. 
build the stockpile so that the because they just have coal lying around up here I think we should get some coal going on in the inventory up here let's do 300 six times three 18 mm -hmm. Let's do 300 for now. They have this built, so that's great. These folks can move this coal around. And do that. All right, we're still upgrading these houses. This one's this one's done, so that's great. All right. Oh, I'm so close. Should I do one more? Mm, let's do one more. We can make it work. It's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. Um, is this a place where I can put a little path? Just aesthetically? Oh, I can. I'm going to definitely take that opportunity. Um, all right. This going well so far. Got nothing over here. I wish we could put some, some trees or something over there. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, well. That's fine. It's Vanilla Banished. There are there are so many mods for this game. I think at some point, um, you know, we'll do a series. I think once Amesbury Port has kind of run its course, we'll uh, you know we'll we'll do a we'll do a modded city. There's a lot of visual mods and additional things that you can build. Um, but for now, we're just doing Vanilla Banished. We have another trader. Look at that. What do we got? Did we get coal? We 35. Ah, let's see. Hmm, mostly food. Yeah, see? I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, though. Thanks! But no thanks. It's a nice little bridge, so the folks can get over to the resources up there. It's looking really good. It's looking really good. How are the, I just noticed the, has become a student. I haven't checked on those in a little while. We've got three students down, uh, excuse me, three students up there. We have another schoolhouse down here, 11 students. So there's a good number of students. Because I can just look here. We have 14 students, 18 children. It's going well. It's going well. We have a mine. They're collecting the coal. Look at that. We're gonna build some houses here eventually. Very nice. All right. Well, folks, I uh, I think this is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, give the video a little like. If you watched all the way through, you like this stuff, give it a like. That's how the YouTube algorithm figures out how to, how to send this content out. So give it a like. Uh, throw a comment down in the comment section. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you like. Let me know what sort of things you would like to see on here. And uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Banished. Bye now.